Well, we're about a month away from jury selection in the trial of Kyle Rittenhouse, who's accused of shooting and killing two people and injuring another during the Kenosha protest last year. Both the defense and prosecution want a fair trial, but there are concerns about social media activity that may be affecting public opinion. CBS 58's Victor Jacobo spoke with a legal expert about whether any rules are being broken. It won't be until next month when jurors will be selected to serve with this court behind me. But those in support of Kyle Rittenhouse are going on offense in a court of public opinion. Visit the free Kyle USA Twitter page and you'll see updates on Kyle Rittenhouse's life, including his aspirations to go to college and videos of a new puppy donated to him. Some are concerned it's an attempt to paint Rittenhouse in a positive light. But other content on the page and online goes further and discusses events and actions surrounding the case. It's an issue that raises legal questions. The Supreme Court rules of Wisconsin give very clear guidance for attorneys in terms of uh, what statements are appropriate and what statements might not be appropriate. Legal experts say defendants have a right to free speech, but the state Supreme Court has rules in place to discourage attorneys and legal teams from publicly saying or sharing information that could influence public opinion and potential juror pools. The judge and the court is going to jealously guard and protect uh, the jury pool out in Kenosha County so that Kyle Rittenhouse and the state of Wisconsin get a fair trial on this matter. Assistant DA Thomas Binger and Kimberly Botley, who represents one of the plaintiffs in the case, did not want to comment on this story. Experts we spoke with say it's ultimately up to a judge to decide what is appropriate or not, and if something like a gag order needs to be issued. And the judge doesn't want those jurors to be prejudiced or biased or walk into court if called upon to be a juror with preconceived notions of one side or the other. Attorneys for Kyle Rittenhouse got back to us today clarifying who's on their legal defense team for the criminal case. Mark Richards says that Robert Barnes, an attorney from Los Angeles, is coming in to represent Rittenhouse in civil matters regarding funds that were raised for Rittenhouse's defense. He's not part of the criminal case. Barnes has been one of the most outspoken supporters for Rittenhouse recently on social media. Rittenhouse is due in court next on March 11th for a pre-trial conference. Reporting at the Kenosha County Courthouse, Victor Jacobo, CBS 58 News.